Alright folks, so welcome back to the channel with Queen City Gaming. Today guys, we're looking at the brand new Star Collecting Anvil Guard. Hopefully these videos are a little better for you guys. We've got some brand new equipment in here to hopefully make sound better as well as video editing a little bit easier. Alright folks, so let's get this open and see what's inside. Alrighty folks, so here we, do, here we go. We've got the box open up. Just like any Star Collecting box with Games Workshop, you're going to have a full set of instructions right here on the top in this case um, guys these are full colored instructions going step by step over all the models um, the only thing though is when we get to the scourge runner chariot it only has instructions for the scourge runner chariot as well as only instructions for the charybdis you'll have to go online and look for instructions for the hydra as well as the alternative build for the chariot itself but overall it's still a great kit guys uh, -uh. got 25 millimeter bases for the elves themselves as well as our hero. So guys, I'm going to move this to the side and look at these individually. Okay, so here is our hero. This, what is this dude's name? Oh, where's the instructions? There we go. This, there we go. All right, guys. So this is our Black Art Fleet Master. I love his cloak. Um, he's pretty cool. He still comes with the old school square base that is optional. There are enough 25 millimeter bases in the bag to give him a 25 mil, which would be the appropriate size for him. Alrighty. Next up is one of the chariot sprues. This is actually the... Uh, Drivers of the Chariot, so you have four bodies on here, so if you wanted to, you could make two extra guys. But you're mainly going to use this side over here, and then a couple bits and bobs on that end, to make the uh, Chariot for the start collecting. Um, so this Chariot is actually, surprisingly, a really good shooting platform. It's got a decent um, shooting attack that can do mortal wounds when you roll a 6 to hit. And it has to be a natural six. You cannot use modifiers for it. All right. So then we go into the actual chariot itself. Comes in two pieces, guys. To make filming a little easier, I'll separate them. All righty. So the actual chariot. The elf chariots were weird because they only have one wheel. Um, I know it's kind of different, but it is what it is. Uh, oh, these would be the pieces we would use for the main body of the chariot, and that would be the floor. Uh, these are the optional builds for the ones with the lizards that are pulling it. And then finally, guys, we have the mounts themselves that are pulling it. Uh, when I built this set previously, uh, this side is the optional side, except for like this piece right here. Lizards aren't really used, so if you have a friend that wants to use them, that's great. They're actually pretty cool looking models. And then the horses that are used for the Scourge Runner Chariot. Alrighty, folks, into the big stuff. So we have the uh, Charybdis slash Hydra here, guys. This is the standard Games Workshop piece. Um, luckily, these necks and heads that are on this model actually come in fairly large pieces. So there's not a ton to assemble itself. And then finally, the last piece to the Charybdis, it's only two frames. Alright, and then you've got your... Uh, little elf handler things that have the big whips that are probably going to break two minutes after you build this thing so be careful and finally guys my favorite part of this kit are the uh black arc corsairs they're pirate elves who doesn't like pirates guys um especially you alpha legion players out there this kit is fairly priced if you buy it individually and it has some great conversion bits these cloaks are fantastic and will contrast paint up very, very well. That's my plan for them. And then you get these really cool, like, swashbuckling blades that would be awesome for Alpha Legion. And, like, little crossbows and stuff. It's actually a pretty cool little kit. I mean, like, weapons like this for your sergeants of Chaos Space Marine squads would be pretty cool. Alrighty, guys. Some chest pieces there. Little crossbows. Let's flip this over. The, uh, your two emblems for your banner, your horn blower. Where's the banner? There it is. And then finally the banner itself. Right here. Alright guys. So, and then 
we have not one, but two of these large bases. The Chariot and the Monster are both on these. Uh, you'll see here in a second about how I feel about those. We'll see after we get these built. And finally, last thing in the box is a transfer sheet. I never use these, but guys, this one is actually really cool. It's got some fantastic decals on it that I think would be perfect for this army for banners and things like that. Or if you have a Dark Eldar army, these would actually look pretty cool on some Dark Eldar vehicles and stuff. Alrighty, folks, let's take a pause. I'm going to build these, and we'll come back and take a look at them. And we're back. I know, that was fast, right? All right, guys, so here's our box of built models. Now then, first up is the Big Daddy Charybdis. Guys, this is a pretty tall model. Um, I have another base of the same size that we can use for height comparison. And guys, it, it, it's a pretty, pretty tall boy, okay? Um, I love the heads. The heads are so cool and crazy. This model is going to be perfect for contrast, and I can't wait to start painting it. I'm probably going to have three of these in the force because I bought three of these start collectings to build this army with. Um, he does fill out the base fairly nicely, especially with the two handlers in the back. If it was just the Charybdis, he probably wouldn't work as well on this size of the base. Now, we have the opposite problem with the chariot. The chariot itself leaves you a lot of negative space on this base, and... I mean, you could do some really cool stuff with your basing. And, I mean, this is a really cool chariot, guys. I love the riders, especially, like, the dude with the harpoon is pretty cool with his cloak flowing in the wind. You can kind of switch out the spears in the back. And then you have, like, a super dynamic posed um, chariot driver there with the actual uh, reins going to the horses, which I thought were a really nice touch. But, guys, they're really easy to break. You can actually see... Uh, Right there where I had to do a little bit of repair job on mine. And then the one big wheel in the back. If you really, really, really want to focus on your painting with this model, I would suggest building this in um, sub-assemblies. And if you don't want to do sub-assemblies, I would at least take the two riders off the next time. That's probably what I'm going to do from now on with the uh, rest of the kits. Alrighty. Mr. Captain Man. So... But a man, the myth, the legend, the Black Ark. What is he? The Fleet Master. All right, he's really cool. I love this weapon. I love he's got like shark's teeth around his head and his uh, sword leg. Really cool, really dynamic model that I think would be great for some conver conversions, especially archons. Um, ar sorry, archons for um, dark elves. So guys, I'm going to show you a couple of the models from this set. You do get 10 of these Reavers, or not really Reavers, but uh, Corsairs. They're not true Reavers, but they would probably make for some cool conversion models for Dark Eldar uh, Reavers. Alrighty, come on guys, line up. There we go, alrighty. So, there we go. Guys, they're pretty cool little models. I got this. Spilt my drink a little bit in the boxes we're in, guys. But they're pretty cool little models, even if they do have a little sweet tea on them. All right. This is the Hornblower. He's actually got a lot of sweet tea on him, but he's still a pretty cool model, guys. All right. Uh, the Unit Champion, which... The, the thing I don't like about this model, guys, is these arms... Are part of the chest piece so they um, disconnect about right there at the elbow and right there at the end of the glove and the two arms are one piece so it's really hard to convert this model if you did want to convert him you could not use this chest which I'm probably gonna end up converting some later and then finally guys I really like this this is the banner um, my banner top and then my banner bearer these models are fantastic. Despite their age, they look really great, and I can't wait to play them on the tabletop. I've got three of these starter sets, so the plan is to have two units of ten of these guys with the uh, crossbows, three chariots, three charybdis, a couple of those guys, and then I have a um, little dark elf sorceress. She doesn't come in this kit, but I feel like this army really needs some magic to take part in um, uh, Cities of Sigmar game. 
and then we'll probably have a big unit of 20 of these guys for this guy to uh, for the general to pal around in all right guys so overall this kit i would give it pretty high ranks on start collecting boxes even with a high msrp that it has you still get some good value in this kit all right guys if you've liked this video please like comment subscribe to the channel i've got some more reviews coming up and guys Get ready, get set, because we are going to have some fantastic in-depth coverage of the Cities of Sigmar book. Uh, I'm not really happy with a lot of reviews that are online right now, and I think I can do it much, much better and take a really, really in-depth look at this army, because I'm super excited to play it, and I really think it is underestimated within the YouTube community. Alrighty, folks. It's been fun. I'm going to go edit this and get this posted online for you guys as fast as I can. Alrighty, guys. This is Queen City Gaming, signing out, folks.